Welcome to Training Tuesday for Tuesday, July 20th, 2021. Does temperament affect how an animal behaves during training? Temperament characteristics are biologically based traits all organisms have an innate tendency towards. They may be modified slightly due to learning, but an organism will always retain a tendency to behave in a certain way temperament-wise. Organisms fall along a spectrum, tending more towards one end or the other with very few in the middle, like a reversed bell curve. Temperament traits such as boldness or shyness, being neophilic or neophobic, or being a risk taker versus cautious, impact survival in the wild, but also may affect how an animal under captive management may learn and perform during training. For example, bold risk takers will have more access to resources and more opportunities to acquire prey, but will also be at a higher risk for injury or predation, whereas a shy, cautious animal is going to remain more safe and secure but have reduced access to resources. During training, bold animals, especially if they're also tending towards neophilia or an attraction to novelty and change, will likely progress more quickly and learn more challenging behaviors sooner than those who are shy or neophobic, meaning they're afraid of new things. The learner in this video, Triangula, tends to be on the bold and risk-taking side of the temperament spectrum. She definitely is not afraid of novel objects or of new situations. She's never seen this tent before, and I can't remember if she's been on this perch or not before. But if you notice, she started coming out of her enclosure before I was even ready. I set all this up and then I went to get the target and the reinforcement and she was already on her way out. She's always been this way. She's always been a very fast learner and a consistent learner. And anything I put outside of her enclosure and ask her to target onto, she has targeted onto without hesitation, just as she did here. And so I would definitely put her on the bold end of the temperament spectrum, and she definitely is more neophilic, meaning that she enjoys new experiences or she's attracted to novelty and change than on the neophobic end of the behavior spectrum, which is an animal that tends to be more cautious and fearful of novelty or new things or change. And she has no problem shifting back into her enclosure I just wanted to show you how versatile this particular snake is. She shifts out without any hesitation or without any problem when I ask her to shift out. And she has shifted out onto scales, onto tub stations, onto logs and branches. And now for the first time, she has shifted out onto this tent and bird perch. So she's an animal that I really enjoy working with because she learns quickly and she pretty much does everything that I ask her to do. This is Triangula's clutch mate, Laurel, and she's also a very solid target trained snake. However, she's not as bold as her sister Triangula is. She did start coming out of her enclosure on her own, but not too far. She's just there at the threshold. And when I show her the target, she clearly knows what it is. She tongue flicks at it. She starts moving towards it. And she's very consistent with this behavior. She knows what targeting is, and she has targeted out onto scales before and tub stations. However, with this particular snake, it takes her several sessions to become comfortable enough shifting out onto an object that she's seen for the first time. So this is the first time that she has seen this tent and perch. And even the animals that have seen this perch before this perch has had several snakes on it at this point. And so not only are they visually seeing this item, but they're smelling different scents on it as well. And not all Morelia bradley either. There have been different species of snakes on this. So you see here that she follows the target all the way to the perch and across it, but she never touched it. And when I asked her to come across the perch, she retreated back. So I just pause for a second and then I ask her to repeat the behavior to see if I can help her gain the confidence to go ahead and shift out onto the perch. Because remember, the reason that I originally started teaching these snakes to target was so that I could get them to voluntarily shift out of their enclosures when I wanted to do water changes, enclosure maintenance, 
or I just needed them out of their enclosures for some reason. So it's really important to me that I teach each one, no matter how long it takes each individual, that they can learn to shift out of their enclosure. Now, I know Laurel knows how to shift out of the enclosure. It's just that this is a new visual sight for her, and these are new smells for her, and she isn't as bold about doing it. She's not ready to take this risk yet until she has seen this set up a few more times. So I reduce my criteria a little bit. I change my criteria to just ask her to follow the target into a known location, which is back up onto her enclosure threshold and to follow it a short distance, which she does beautifully. This is just to prove her targeting. This is to show me that the issue here is not the targeting behavior, but her confidence in moving towards this new setup that she's seen for the first time tonight. This is Zahia and she's four years old. She's a Morelia Bradley and she is definitely an animal that I have to classify on the shy end of the temperament spectrum and the cautious end of the temperament spectrum. You can see that she clearly knows what the targeting behavior is. And she is stretching just as far out of her sky hide as she can without leaving her sky hide and without touching that perch. She's tongue flicking at it, she is smelling it, and she's assessing right now how much risk she wants to take to get to that target to earn her reinforcement or not. And you'll see here in a minute that she's doing quite a bit of approach and retreat. She started to retreat back, so I also retreated. I do that just to pause for a few seconds and reset so that I can ask her again, can you please shift out of your sky hide? Because she practically lives in that sky hide. She hardly ever comes out of that sky hide. She loves it. I'm asking her, please come out of your sky hide. Please shift out onto this perch so that I can work on your enclosure. She comes all the way to the perch. She crosses over the top of it, but she won't set her face down on it or her body on it. And she almost reaches the target but then she retreats back again. And we went through this several times until I make the decision that she just isn't ready in her mind to take this risk, to shift out onto this wooden perch. Zahia has been with me a couple of years and I usually end up doing any enclosure maintenance by just removing her inside of her hide or by blocking the entrance to her hide while I work on the enclosure. She has successfully shifted out a couple of times in the time that I've had her. However, it's after she has become extremely familiar with whatever the station is I'm asking her to shift out onto, meaning she has been exposed to it numerous times and seen it numerous times. So here I'm gonna ask her one more time to shift out towards the stand, but I have in my mind lowered my criteria so as soon as she gets close to the perch and she moves in the direction of the target, I'm gonna go ahead and give her the reinforcement because I do wanna reinforce her coming mostly out of her sky hide. I wanna reinforce her coming towards the target and making an effort to at least breach her enclosure threshold. Our next learner and the last one I'm going to show you for this Training Tuesday is Arium, and she is a three-year-old coastal carpet python. You may remember her from other videos. Now, she is one of the rare animals that I would say is in the middle of the temperament spectrum when it comes to shyness and boldness, being a risk taker or being cautious, being neophilic or neophobic. Now, this footage is sped up two times, and it still appears pretty slow. So that just goes to show you how cautious she is. However, she's still doing the behavior. She's still exiting her enclosure without hesitation and she is coming out onto this perch, which has all kinds of new and different smells on it. So even though she's taking her time and doing it very, very slowly, she's doing it. So she is cautious and somewhat reserved, but she is also showing some risk-taking and some boldness because she's doing this behavior for the first time without balking and without retreating. Thank you very much for joining me for another Training Tuesday. I appreciate everyone's interest in snake training and behavior. I would like you to comment below and tell me what type of temperament you think your snake or other animal has. 
And until next time, everybody, please remember to be kind and love your animals.